Fresno Filmworks is the Central Valley's local source for independent films. They host screenings, festivals, virtual engagements, and more. And next week, they have got the screening of the season, the awards season. After a three-year hiatus, they are back again to showcase the 2023 Oscar-nominated short films. Wanna be on TV? showed me what true humanity was about. Well, there you go, a, a little taste there. Joining us now is Cindy Doozy, board member from Fresno Filmworks. And I was telling you, I love the shorts for, I think I started going to a theater to watch the animated shorts every year. And I started this in like 2011. So I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> so have. for anybody who hasn't seen uh, any of the Oscar nominated short films, what are they? All right, the Oscar nominated shorts fall into three categories. First category are animated shorts. Then we have live action shorts and then documentary shorts. Now, one misconception sometimes is that the animated shorts are children's cartoons. Right. They're not. They often deal sometimes with very serious subjects. In fact, this year, we're telling our audience members they're suitable for kids 10 and older, okay. although the final short in the animated program is rated R. Okay. So if you come with kids, you might want to step out before right. that one final short. Yeah, I, I love the animated ones because you, I don't really watch a lot of cartoons, you know, right. I don't really watch a lot of animated animated films, but they are really incredible. Oh, they're beautiful. Pixar sometimes has some in there, so so that's kind of fun. But even the ones that deal with uh, adult subjects are very cool, the way that, that they put those films together. And so finally, you guys are back, and you're, are. you're doing a screening. So tell us about the screening. All right, we will be next Wednesday and Thursday at Strummer's in the Tower district um, just off of Wishon and you can purchase tickets at the door and I'll okay. talk about that in just a second um, but it will be cash only okay. so you can also go on to the Strummers website use your card and make sure that you have your tickets right so on Wednesday we're going to be starting with a 530 screening okay. of the animated shorts doors will open at 5 and we're gonna start promptly at 530 yes. because at 730 we're gonna move to the live action shorts program so you can come out and see two programs in one evening then on Thursday we'll have a 530 show, showing of the documentary shorts now that's a much longer program okay. I believe it's about 160 minutes long okay the documentary shorts are powerful and they're oftentimes a bit longer yeah you know short films can be as short as two minutes okay and they can be as long as 40 minutes oh wow often they fall somewhere in between right that. but we do have some very short ones this year and then some lengthier ones okay I was so, gonna I was gonna ask if they're if you know what the time limit is for to be considered for an Oscar but I don't know I some of them sometimes are kind of long so it is yes. it is a nice little outing to go see them it's oh. you know like going to see a movie what do you like about the shorts so much oh. You know what, there are five short films, generally in a shorts yeah. program. And I spent years going to Sundance and every year I made sure I put at least one shorts program into my, yeah. you know, into my itinerary because they're so unique. Uh -huh. You laugh, you cry, and you know, there are five of them. You might love three, like one, and you might not like yes. the, the fifth one. 
but they are so ingenious, they're so creative, and really, if you don't attend a screening like this, yeah. and we have been, Fresno Filmworks has been the only place in town to see the Oscar shorts oh. for years and years and years, um, then you have no other way of seeing them. Right. And I'm just saying, if you go to an Oscar party and you want to be a superstar, oh, yeah. and when you go to <laughs> vote, you will have seen the shorts and you will know how to vote for your favorite one. And yes, and then everybody will think of you as a film expert. And that is something that, you know, those film buffs, they like to, to get all the correct oh, yes. answers for oh, the winners. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of the submissions that I have noticed over the years that I've seen them is many of them are international as yes, well. Yes, yes. I mean, they come from all over the right. world. I believe they're are three this year from the US. Okay. The rest of them are all international yeah. submissions. And you know, film festivals, you know, like Sundance, um, like Toronto, um, and certainly the Oscars get hundreds mm -hmm. and hundreds and hundreds of submissions. So, you know, you are seeing the best of the best. Right. And you... they are so satisfying because the story is sort of wrapped up in a, in a, like, in a very short amount of time. You know, you're not going to go watch a James Cameron film. These are going to be things that are satisfying in, in this short amount of time. That's a great point. Yeah. Right. And, and, and as I said, even if one, um, even if you don't particularly like it's one, it's over pretty quick. It's over, and you're on to the next one. <laughs> well, I am excited. I will be there, certainly, to watch uh, the animated shorts. Great. And we have all the information about how you can get tickets to, to screen all the short films. If you're trying to get into film, if you know somebody who loves film, this is a great way to sort of feed into their hobbies or to get started with uh, your film exploration. So thank you so much for being here with thank us today. Thank you for having me. Coming up here on Central Valley today, to kick off, uh, we kick off Red Cross Month. We meet with a volunteer with the Red Cross to give us more on how important it is to donate and volunteer to those in need. Uh, that's after this.